Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Aliens Customs, and for this review, we are looking at NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Muck Everlasting set pack. Single figure with kind of an accessory partner type thing. It's it's Muck Man and Joe Eyeball, if the names if I'm right. I don't it's been a long time. I'm pretty sure that's their names. Does it say on the package? I probably should have looked. Muck Man. Yep, Joe Eyeball. There you go. All right, so that's what this is. This is one of NECA's most uh, involved releases for the cartoon series of figures, and it looks really good. They did a lot of good stuff on this release. Lots of nice things to talk about. A few things that aren't as great, but that's always going to be the case. This is a review after all. So let's go ahead and get this guy off the stand and take a closer look. Uh, this guy stands roughly seven and a quarter inches, which makes him pretty close to... And let's just call it 18 centimeters. He's going to be different heights depending on how you have his legs posed and how much hunch you have going on. So that'll give you a good idea though. It's decent size. Uh, aesthetically speaking, this thing's really good. But first, let me do a question of the day. Uh, how much are you guys into these, these characters? These relatively more obscure characters from the Ninja Turtles cartoon line? Are you guys grabbing everything you find? Are you cherry picking? Are you not buying any of them? I'm curious how you guys feel. Are you just watching the review for fun? What's your situation? All right, I know a lot of people are really into this and are definitely getting all of them. I'm just curious how many of you are doing that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the aesthetics on this guy. Overall, it looks really good. Two things stand out to me, and they're right on the front, which is why they stand out to me. The apple on his chest and the mirror at his belt don't look like they're painted properly. The mirror on the belt area is the same color as the pants, and the apple on the chest is just solid gray, which you could make an argument for, but this being the same color as the pants essentially, not a great look. It definitely detracts from the figure a little bit. It's technically a little bit darker, I guess, but just barely, and maybe it's even the same color as this. So that would definitely look better if it was fixed, but otherwise this guy looks really, really good. Uh, lots of paintwork going on basically everywhere, sculpt work everywhere. They did a really good job with it too. It's very nicely executed, other than that one little thing that I mentioned. I guess there's one other thing in that. This arm is kind of glossy on mine. I don't know what's going on there. Everything else is fairly satin, but this arm is a little glossy. But still, they did a good job overall. They got the aesthetic down just about as well as they could have other than those few issues. The sculpt is good, paints are good. What else could you want for the aesthetic? So I'll give this guy a 9 out of 10 for the aesthetic. It's really, really good. Fix that and I would have been happy, but eh, that's the way it goes. Now as far as accessories go, we do get the trash can backpack thingy which just tabs into his back and that's a nice, nicely painted accessory. And then you also get Joe Eyeball, which is more of an accessory than a figure. His arms can articulate, his head can articulate, but that's about it. Uh, he's really well painted, that's a good thing, well sculpted. He does fit in the backpack, but not in a way where he can actually like hang over the shoulder quite properly. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, we do get alternate hands. We have the two kind of relaxed hands that come on him in the package. Then we get a gun hand and a secondary hand or a gripping hand, whatever you want to call that. We do get an alternate mouthpiece, which is pretty cool. We get a can of ooze or goo or I don't know. It's not the same ooze that the other guys got. Anyway, you get a can of this. I'm not opening mine because I, I don't want to have it open. I don't need ooze, so I'm going to leave it sealed up. But there is definitely a liquid inside. It sounds very thin, not too viscous. So I don't know. Be careful with that. If you're an adult collector, you might want to just leave that the way it is. But cool that they included it nonetheless. And then we do get this big old gun, which is very nicely detailed, good paint, and good sculpt. Good batch of accessories, very pleased with that. 9 out of 10 for the accessories. If there's one thing NECA has going for them in this line is that they are putting in effort to give you as much as they can in the package. Sculpt-wise, paint-wise, accessory-wise, the only thing these things are lacking is the articulation, and that's a calculated determination. They just are going for the look more than anything. And I'm guessing it's because they know most people with these figures are going to get them on a shelf and not pose them too much. That's my hunch and it seems to be working out for them so far. So let's go ahead and talk about the articulation. The head isn't going to move a whole lot. There's not a whole lot going on. There's definitely a ball peg in there. I don't think there's a hinge also. It doesn't feel like it. He can look up. He can look down sort of. Not really. You can lean it a little bit and rotate it a little bit, but you're not moving that head too much. Don't count on too much range there. Shoulders are standard ball hinge shoulders. They go up horizontal, no problem. They do get the full rotation, of course, but you don't want to grind. Like everything on NECA's figures is painted, so you don't want to really mush stuff on there too much. So be careful as you're rotating around this upper part of the shirt. 
you do get your bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which works pretty darn well. No problem there, that's cool. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge, of course. The diaphragm joint, it doesn't do much. It doesn't really do much at all, it just kind of wiggles. It feels like the ball peg is connected down here, but the ball is at the top, so you're just kind of shimmying on that ball. And you get your rotation out of it, which works nicely, so that's good. But that's about it. Uh, no waist twist. Oh, there is a waist twist. It didn't move last time I tried it. Okay, cool. So there is a waist twist. It must have just been stuck at that point. Or maybe I freed it up and didn't notice. Either way, you do get a waist twist, so that's nice. Um, for the hips... That is not good. That is not acceptable. Luckily, he doesn't pose all that well anyway, so you're gonna just put him in a standing pose and it won't be a problem. But that's mostly a joke because that loose of a hip is not acceptable. It's very loose. But you do get very little range out of this guy despite the diaper being flexible. You can flex it, but watch what happens. As soon as I go to flex it at all, hopefully you're going to be able to see this. See those splits in the paint? So you're not going to want to do that. Like you can't see them once it's down again, but you're not going to want to be forcing the hip into that. Plus it's too loose to hold the pose anyway. So that, that really blows. The hips are not good. You do get a thigh swivel built into that, but again, who cares? It doesn't work. Uh, the hips don't work. Double jointed knees work. Technically, I can't get this one to move very well, but with hips that don't work, you're not gonna be doing anything anyway. So that's kind of a bummer. You do get an ankle joint, your standard ankle hinge, which is pretty cool that they worked it into this foot especially, and it does work relatively well. You get an ankle rocker out of that, so he's gonna be able to stand, no problem. This foot's a little bit more functional in some directions, and you get your ankle rocker there too. But yeah, this guy's not really gonna be posing too much. You can move the arms and that's pretty much it <laughs> as far as functionality, actual functionality. But I guess that's gonna be good enough for most people. I don't think people are going into this line expecting it to be like very dynamically posed and hyper articulated. And that's okay because they go for the aesthetic. So I'll give the articulation a four out of 10. It's awful, but people knew that going in and that's what NECA was aiming for. So there are some things that are good, like the ankles better than I expected, but the rest is pretty awful, so. Yeah, it's, it's what you expected. So there it is, guys. Uh, final verdict on this guy. Uh, the aesthetic is where it's at. I'm going to go 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10. I'll go 8 out of 10. The articulation is particularly bad on this one. But lots of accessories, super clean paint, really nice sculpt. It's going to look like exactly what you want it to look like on the shelf. Minus maybe the mirror and the apple. So yeah, 8 out of 10 seems fair. And that's what I'll stick with. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, and you can let me know why in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to consider it. I have new videos almost every single day, and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.